people, they stay strapped up. If this a race, well, then you know I'm about to lap up. I be stressed trying to make the time pass. Will somebody please light up that gas? Yeah. A young New Orleans boy, she said she loved me. A young New Orleans boy, she said she loved me. A young New Orleans boy, she said she loved me. You gotta give it to me, cause you know I love it. Yeah, I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throw my money on her own, I call her independent, shawty. Hit the scene and go retarded. All my people looking flawless now. Sneakers that will make you think I'm ballin' now You need a hook, I got your feature, yeah, that's my calling card You think I'm fallin', but I'm on again and start to go harder than never, I take my time getting better I'm going after the shutter, it got me moving so careful Gotta watch out for you haters, y'all be plotting on me Little do you know I got that wiper on me Yeah, I'm with my people tonight We gon' drink it up What's up everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit as you can see I did get my setup set up at my new place and uh, so that is where I've been for the past uh, couple days I've been trying to get this uh, set up set up right is that literally 35 PSI so we are here today at Nuremberg and it's actually at the full GP and circuit so we are here today to uh, rip my one of my new favorite drift cars actually it is the wide body Cadillac ATS that was given to us for free this car is actually a lot of fun to drive so we're here today to uh, fully test this car out and make sure this thing is running good and also to basically system test the wheel setup I'm gonna turn my phone notifications off right now to make sure everything's hooked up right we got our Logitech G920 base Energy Innovations wheel on our AMP Studios quick release, hydraulic cam brake with custom energy handle, and our sequential shifter all hooked up. So we're going to shred it here today and uh, just have a little fun here with this car and uh, see how she goes. So this car is a lot of fun to drive and uh, it is actually a very uh, stable car when you don't throw it too far out, but we'll hold that. It's actually a pretty stable car at speed and I think it has to do something with the serious amounts of downforce that this front and rear wing give it so I hope you guys enjoyed the little beginning of this video you know a little bit of a time lapse of getting the wheel set up all hooked up at the new place did a little bit of changing around with it this time with uh, everything sitting in a stand next to me because of uh, a little bit better uh, placement this time 
than last time and I've been looking at you know where my wheel setup has started to where it is now and if you haven't seen that picture check it out on Instagram I did a where it started where it went and where it is now basically collage and this car is actually getting it so we're just basically here today to rip this and make sure everything is running smoothly with our wheel setup because I haven't uh, really had a chance to uh, test it out since I got it hooked up so this is a uh, this is a run and gun test I mean everything still should be pretty much set up except the the base is a little bit different for the chair now the chair sits a little higher so it's a little more comfortable and I can see my monitor is a little bit better because uh, the monitor is raised up on a platform so we're just getting it now in this ATS I did put the tune up public for this car, so if you guys want to check out the tune, check it out. Um, Evil EVL Rabbit 07. If you guys want to check out that tune, it will have different wheels on it. It'll have 1552, uh, 1552 wheels on it. I'm running some HREs on this one right now. I don't know if we're gonna make that. No, we're not gonna make that. Ugh. Oh, Whew. that turn up, that turn came up a lot quicker than I thought. So. We are back on Forza 7, just ripping it right now. I would be on the uh, BE demo if I could, but uh, fortunately my uh, Wi-Fi and everything is not fully set up yet. It will be this weekend, so I can't do anything that involves that. And now we're actually on the North Schleiven course. So now is when the fun begins of, is this car going to be able to do what I want it to do here on this track? But what better way to just torture test this setup to make sure it's all stable where I want it to be then uh, throw some massive angle with this car with the drift kit and all the downforce that this thing throws Whoa. I tried to uh, catch that a little bit too soon it's on the thing in the third with that sequential gearbox that we got set up making it really quick and easy to find gears and do that and quick shift gearing so it is nice to be back behind the wheel and uh, it's really nice to be at the new place the new place is not fully set up yet we did have to get the office set up really first so I could bring you guys content as well as for uh, the sticker businesses and stuff that we run on the side and uh, so we had to get all that pretty much all set up first but we're slowly getting everything together Surprised we uh, were able to get that. So, like I said, we are here just to uh, throw some skids and get back behind the wheel. More videos will be coming all next week with the, uh, you know, setup and everything all together and with uh, Forza Horizon 4 right around the corner. The demo was a very big tease, and uh, now I can't wait to not do that. Now I can't wait for the actual game to come out because that wide body, uh, wide body kit for that RS is uh, definitely a lot of fun. I'm going to have to spend some time and get uh, a good wheel setting dialed in for that game. I know there's been a couple subscribers and people who follow me on Instagram that are asking for uh, a good wheel setting or if I had one. So I will be trying to figure out a good wheel setting to... Uh, make it feel the best that I feel for myself I mean I've had a lot of people use my wheel settings before and they say they like the, the wheel settings I grabbed the shifter instead of the uh, handbrake so I will be working on a full uh, wheel setting video for her for her horizon 4 for drifting and stuff like that so this ATS um, definitely uh, definitely shreds you guys want to try the tune like I said I did leave it up I believe it is up public uh, give it a shot see what you guys think about it if you guys didn't pick up this ATS when they were only a hundred dollars in game uh, you missed out because this car with this wide body on this Forza edition is definitely insane there we go getting our bearings here at the track now this is a track that I've definitely wanted to drift a lot and see if I could actually do an amazing drift line we lost our wing so we're uh, we're wingless but I feel like it's still got the downforce because we're just on cosmetics so this is definitely a very treacherous track to drift 
Um, I know there's a lot of people that probably can drift the strike very well and not do that, but you know, I've probably only tried to drift this track a handful of times. So, and this car's probably not the best set up for this track, that turbo just fluttering in the distance. Not set up best for this track because it's uh, pretty low on the diffusers and stuff, so. And this track is very narrow and you do go up on the rumble strips a lot. So this car does get it, but probably not the best car for this track. But it is uh, definitely a lot of fun. So like I said, if you guys want to try the tune, it is down in the uh, tune downloadable section. I'm trying to remember what line I need to take here. That was not it. So if you guys have drifted this track before, let me know down in the comment section down below, like what's your favorite car to drift here? Did you, you know, just drift it by accident? Or did you purposely try and drift this track? Because uh, I think I've drifted, uh, oops, <laughs> getting Junior's Mustang here, well, a replica of his Mustang here, as well as, uh, I believe my ESDA car, but other than that, like I said, I haven't really uh, shredded this track too much, so I thought about pulling the handbrake there, and then I uh, second-guessed my decision. Slow up a little bit, throw it in, there we go. Gentle sweeper. We're coming up to the fun carousel corners, which is uh, going to be very interesting because I'm going to try to stay above it instead of going into it so I'll try to stay above it and uh, ow, just the outside of it as we uh, just basically are tearing this car apart so like I said guys you know you can follow me on Facebook Twitch Twitter and Instagram all which are found in the description box below like I said I hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, little glimpse into the setup of the new setup at the new place there we go try and keep that tire a little bit floaty over that curb that's what I want to do. So we will be getting more online sessions going here very soon, especially with Forza Horizon 4 coming out. Definitely want to get some slides with some of you guys as well as some of the team, get the team back on because uh, there's been a hiatus from the team, but uh, they've been uh, either busy with uh, school or work or just uh, you know life in general. So there will be some members of the team coming back to the channel as well as uh, going to be bringing a lot of you guys into the channel as well get some uh, skids going get some slides get some tandems some live sessions and stuff Ooh, now we're definitely getting this section a little dirt drop probably shouldn't have downshifted there probably should have stayed there this car has plenty of power in third I believe it's 800 or 900 horse so it's got plenty of power there we go Thank God for angle kit. Just tap. So like I said, if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, make sure you check out that post I posted about the wheel setup, where it started, where it's gone, and where it is now. It's definitely kind of an interesting thing for me to look at because that's progressed in the past year or so to the, what it is now. And there's been a lot of people that asked me about my setup and stuff and a lot of people that have mimicked my setup in a sense or done things that I've done on my setup to theirs and they absolutely enjoy it. Some members of the ZDC, um, you know, QP train rack, QP to talk about for sure. He's uh, definitely a, an awesome drifter. Going to be getting back with the ZDC guys, getting some tandems as well with them and some of the other guys from other crews. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little little episode let you guys know I'm still here. I didn't go anywhere, but I am moved into my new place, so expect content all coming out next week. Just been trying to get everything unpacked and get uh, the new place livable. Um, and uh, very, you know, long unpacking process with everything we got with all our little hobbies and everything that we do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I think we're going to end it here. So until next time, guys, and you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. 
all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys want to check out this ATS tune, make sure you guys check it out. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys try it, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. What do you think could be changed if you think something should be changed? Other than my driving right now. So, until next time, guys. Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're going to stretch this thing out and see where we, uh, we stretch this out at. 180, 190, 200, 202, 203. Uh, I think we're going to do a really, we're going to do a high speed uh, handbrake. 208. Yep, we're done. <laughs> so, like I said, oh, we're done. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll catch you guys next time.